I've been 3D printing with FDM printers for a while, but I've never tried resin until now. I want to share my first experience using a resin printer and help you decide if it makes sense to get one if you already print with filament. Hey everyone, welcome to 3D Max Builds. Since I've been 3D printing, I've been interested in resin printers, but I've been on the fence about getting one. And then Anycubic reached out to me and sent me their Photon Mono M7 Pro to try out and share my experience. So I'd like to thank Anycubic for sponsoring this video and supporting my channel. Let's take a look. So I filmed the unboxing of the printer, thinking it would be a great way to start this video. As I was editing, I realized it really isn't helpful and informative. So instead, I'll skip through it and just let you know that you get everything you need to get started. Well, almost everything. I did need to buy some gloves, rubbing alcohol. I already had a respirator mask I use when painting, and I got a cheap UV light for curing. I'll also skip through the assembly since it was pretty simple. Everyone's added a screen protector to their phone. This is just much bigger. The vat is just put in place and secured with two screws. There's also the resin pump, which I'll go over later in the video. So let's just skip ahead to the part where I'm going to plug it in and turn it on. Now I'm going to plug it in and turn it on. I start the initial setup after turning it on. I already installed the print platform and the resin vat. I haven't poured in the resin yet, but I do need a little privacy while I connect to my network and enter the password. Next step is to install the app on my phone and install it on my computer as well. Now I scan the barcode at the top of the printer to add it to the app. Now I can remote print and check the printer status. When you're printing with resin, you want to be in a well-ventilated area, so I'm going to move the printer into the garage. Now I need to find a model to print. I go to Maker Online, which is Anycubic's 3D printing model platform. I was trying to decide on what to print for this video. My son's been interested in chess lately, so I did a search for chess pieces. There are a lot to choose from. These ones look like some high-detailed pieces. I really like the knight the best out of all of them. You can either download the file from here or open it directly in either the Anycubic Slicer for FDM or Photon Workshop for resin. I will open it here. Photon Workshop seems very similar to other slicers that I've used, so it's easy for me to navigate. Movement and resizing tools are on the side here, and there's more tools up here at the top. This face gen could be interesting. You can select your resin on the right, as well as modify the slice parameters. Since this is my first time with a resin printer, I'll just leave the settings as default. I add supports to the model. Since I'm used to filament and using tree supports, I'll leave the supports with the default settings as well. I'm using a water wash resin for this first print, and I will print it with a 0.05mm layer height. When you slice the files, it tells you the volume and cost of the resin, the estimated time, and you can view all the layers with the slider on the right. You can also open the 3D model view. Before sending the file, I pour some resin into the vat. You can save the file on the provided USB, but it's much easier to print remotely. And here we go, my first resin print. There's not much to show except for the print platform moving up and down, so I'll skip to the end. One concern I had about resin printing was I wasn't sure how messy it would be. It really isn't as bad as I expected. Just make sure you're wearing gloves, you're in a well-ventilated area, and are using a respirator. Oh, and make sure you let the build plate drip back into the vat before moving it from the printer. The detail on this is awesome compared to what I'm used to with filament. I use the metal scraper to remove the print. It can be a bit difficult to scrape off. Since I'm just scraping at the supports, I don't need to worry about damaging the print. I rinsed the print off in water since I used water wash resin. Then I removed the supports. I do a second rinse in the water before I cure it with the UV light. This was printed with the 0.05mm layer height. Looks like my first print was a success. I rinse off and clean the build plate, then put it back in place to be ready for the next print. I want to see the difference if I change it to a 0.1mm layer height. The print time is basically cut in half since there's half as many layers. I print, remove the part from the plate, remove the supports, wash and cure. Still amazing detail here. It's hard to tell the difference between the 0.05mm and the 0.1mm layer heights. But you may want 0.05mm if you're printing an even smaller and more detailed miniature. So now I was feeling confident and wanted to try a larger print. 
and this is where I had my first print fail. But now I can show you that this printer has print fail detection. At least it stopped me from wasting more resin. I'm assuming the print failed because I'm still new with printing with resin, and I just can't stick with the default settings for any print. I'll hold off on the large prints for now. It looks like using the standard resin is even faster than the water washable resin. This print would take about an hour. But this printer is supposed to be very fast, so I wanted to test the high speed resin. This will print in a little over a half an hour. Let's see how it goes. You get a lot of detail with the 14K resolution screen. Alright, another successful print and then finished in 32 minutes. Here's the finished print. I'm really happy with this one as well. A couple other features I want to mention about the Photon M7 Pro. One is the autofill pump. Make sure you have the latest firmware installed on your printer and that the lid is airtight or will not work. The light will flash red if the resin in the bottle is too low. What's nice about this pump is that it can fill the vat at the beginning of your print and empty most of the resin at the end. The printer has another sensor that detects low resin. When that happens mid-print, the pump will fill the vat with more resin so you know you won't run out. Another feature is the resin vat heater. This will make sure that the resin is at a consistent temperature and helps it flow and fill back in between each print layer. And it also has a cleaning feature when you're ready to empty the vat. Just fill it with alcohol and start the cleaning process. Overall, I really liked using the Photon Mono M7 Pro. I already mentioned that this is a fast resin printer. Now let's compare it to printing with filament. Using the high-speed resin, the Knight chess piece printed in 32 minutes. When I printed it in filament, it took an hour and 14 minutes. And if I were to print 10 of them, it would take 11 hours. Now since the time for resin is calculated by height, on the Photon Mono M7 Pro, I can print 10 of them in 32 minutes. After using this printer for about a month, I want to go back to my original question. Does it make sense to get a resin printer when you already print with filament? Well, it really depends on what you print. As you can see, I like to print helmets, so would I print a helmet with a resin printer? No, I wouldn't. But thinking back at all the small detailed parts of the helmets that are difficult or almost impossible to sand and smooth, it makes much more sense to print them with resin. It'll cut down a lot of the time spent sanding, and you don't need to settle for good enough. Plus, I can make some other fun, highly detailed prints as well. I was also looking at some of these translucent resins that can make some very interesting prints. So I'll say for me, it makes sense to print with resin as well. And if it makes sense for you, there's actually a sale going on as I'm making this video. It's $120 off, plus there's a coupon code for an additional $70 off. It looks like the coupon is applied automatically in the cart. Hopefully the coupon's still active when I post this video, but more importantly, when you watch it. Be sure to click the link in the description and check it out. I hope you enjoyed this video and it helps you decide if you want to get a resin printer for yourself. Be sure to like and subscribe and check this out next. Thank you for watching.